Question 361. The physician's role in case management includes all the following except A. Participating in interdisciplinary planning for clients B. Serving as the expert for resource utilization C. Consulting with the case management team to facilitate timely orders as needed D. Contributing to the documentation of a client's needs for services Answer B. Explanation. The physician is an integral part of the case management process in terms of assisting with defining the client's needs and the time frames for movement through the healthcare system. However, the physician is the expert for medical diagnosis and treatment rather than source utilization, coordinated care. Question 362. A neighbor telephones the nurse to tell her that a child has erythema infectiosum and asks for information. The nurse knows that another name for the disorder is A. Kawasaki disease B. Rheumatic disease C. Lupus erythematosus D. Fifth disease Answer D. Explanation. The child has fifth disease, a parvovirus fluke-like illness that is self-limiting but is contagious for two, three weeks, safety and infection control. Question 363. When medications have an addictive, synergistic or an antagonistic effect on tissue, A. Reaction has occurred. A. Pharmaceutical B. Pharmacodynamic C. Pharmacokinetic D. Drug Incompatibility Answer B. Explanation Pharmacodynamics pertain to the effect of a drug on receptors. Pharmaceutical reactions are chemical reactions between drugs prior to administration or absorption. Pharmacokinetic reactions refer to the body's effect on the drug. Drug incompatibilities are another term for mysomoisic reactions. Pharmacological therapies. Question 364. The emergency triage nurse should perform which action upon receiving the history that a client had a severe cough, fever, nine sweats, and body wasting? A. Place the client in the waiting room until an available subical is open. B. Seclude the client from other clients and visitors. C. Perform no intervention because it might not be necessary and to test confirmed by disease. D. Don gown, gloves and mask immediately. Answer B. Explanation. The client is describing signs and symptoms of tuberculosis. The client is potentially infectious to others and should be secluded. A respirator mask should be worn by caregivers, but it is not necessary for the nurse to don a gown and gloves. If the client is moved to other areas such as radiology, a mask should be worn by the client and a respirator mask should be worn by those working in close contact contact with the client, safety and infection control. Question 365. When questioning an elder about suspected abuse, the nurse should keep the questions A. Non-judgmental B. Probing C. Confrontational D. Indirect Answer A. Explanation. Questions about suspected should be direct and non-confrontational. Indirect questions encourage denial, psychosocial integrity. Question 366. A client with a diagnosis of schizophrenia has been released from an acute care setting. The client had a prolonged recovery from prolapse. One of the parents says to the discharged nurse, I do not understand what is going on. The hospital said she was better, but all she does is sit around all day and smoke. We cannot get her to go to the vocational training you arranged. 
the nurse recognizes that more teaching is needed about a the pathopsychology in acting out behaviors of schizophrenia. B support groups that can help the parents release their feelings of frustration. C the prolonged recovery time and depressive effects of medicines to prevent relapse. D motivational techniques that are effective in clients with schizophrenia. And to see explanation, the nurse conducting this short teaching must stress the lengthy recuperation process with emphasis on the sedative qualities of the medication used to prevent relapse. Support groups are useful for caregivers. The emphasis during recuperation is on maintaining nutrition and hygiene, psychosocial integrity. Question 367. The nurse is caring for a client dying who has persistently requested that the nurse help her die and be in peace. According to the Code of Ethics for Nurses, the nurse should A. Ask the client whether she had signed the advanced directives document. B. Tell the client that he or she will ask another nurse to care for her. C. Instruct the client that only a physician can legally assist a suicide. D. Try to make the client as comfortable as possible, but refuse to assist in death. And to D. Explanation. Try to make the client as comfortable as possible, but refuse to assist in death. One of the competences necessary for nurses to have in giving high-quality care to clients or families during the end-of-life care is apply legal and ethical principles in the analysis of complex issues and end-of-life care, recognizing the influence of personal values, profession codes, and client preferences, psychosocial integrity. Question 368. The GAC reflex test assesses which granular nodes? A. 9 and 10. B. 5 and 7. C. 9 and 12. D. 5 and 10. Answer A. Explanation. Gagging during the gag reflex test indicates that cranial nerves 9 and 10, the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves are intact, health promotion and maintenance. Question 369. A client is having psychological counseling for problems communicating with his mother. Which mode of stress is the most useful in reference to this stretcher? A. Adaptation model. B. Stimulus-based model. C. Transaction-based model. D. Cellular model of stress. And to see explanation, the transaction-based model is, according to R. S. Lazarus, a state that stimulates theory and response theory do not consider individual differences. It takes into account cognitive processes that intervene between the encounter and the reaction and the factors that affect the nature of this process. It includes mental and psychological components or responses as part of his concept of stress, person-environment transactions. Psychosocial Integrity Question 370 Which of the following attitudes is essential in a nurse who assists clients during crisis? A. Viewing crisis intervention as the first step in solving bigger problems. B. Wanting to help clients solve all problems identified. C. Taking an active role in guiding the process. D. Feeling that work requires an identification with all of clients' problems. Answer A. Explanation. Viewing crisis intervention as the first step in solving bigger problems is essential in a nurse who assists clients during crisis. Assessment of the present problem should be viewed as necessary. Time and limitations of crisis work need to be remembered. Complete diagnostic assessment is unnecessary and unrelated material should not be explored. Referrals might be necessary for other identified problems. Sakoshota and Kirkriti. Thank you for watching.